Moving to the point, why sugar? Why sugar? You and I both know why I threw these out here. I, I believe we. I know where this is going. I know where this is going. What do all of these foods have in common? All of these foods have low sugar in common. That is really what uh, brings them all together under a single heading. So why would all these food manufacturers be adding sugar into the can for the retail market? Because it tastes better and because there isn't enough sugar in there to begin with. Well, say that last part again. Which last part? I said two things. The last part. The last part. Look into the camera and say... Mm -hmm. <laughs> and say... The reason why they put sugar in here is because there's not enough sugar in there already. How am I doing? Perfect. Is that good? Perfect. So on that note, when we talk sugar, talking sugar to the ground. Yes. In a short, non -com not completely doctor answer, mm -hmm. what are we doing? Are, are we raising the sugar content or the bricks of the plant with that sugar? Or are we doing something else? Indirectly we are, but we're just feeding the microbes. That's the short answer. We're feeding microbes. Why is it important to feed the microbes? Because the microbes are giving us our hybrix plants. They're putting the micronutrients and, and, and pulling them away from, uh, you know, rocks that may be there. Uh, they're, they're not bioavailable yet, but these microbes make the micronutrients bioavailable, bioavailable to the plant. And that's why they're important. We need to have those microbes there. We don't have them. The micronutrients don't get into the plant. And if the micronutrients don't get into the plant, what do we have? Low sugar. Because okay. photosynthesis isn't happening.